but property is, is a funny one for me because I'm a, I'm very anti-governmental as a person, and I think that property is is one of the big tools the Matrix uses to enslave, to keep you in a system. Co completely, man. You buy a ten million dollar house in whatever country, you don't want to piss off the government of that country because you'll lose that house. But what about buying houses in different locations? You still don't agree with that? Nah, because then you got a headache of you got to look after it. Now it becomes a job, right? Yeah. There's there's a lot of people who talk about passive income, and we'll talk about passive income because I think that's the biggest scam on the planet. The idea of passive income in and of itself is a lie. You're the first but, person on the plus card to say yeah, that. <laughs> bro, bro, yeah, no, like everyone goes, oh, I want passive income. Well, of course you do. Everyone wants passive income, but tell me how you're going to get it because only having tenants is not passive income. Ask anybody who has tenants. It's fucking headache, right? Yeah. If I have a house X, Y, Z, I got to make sure it's looked after, not broken into, the electricity's on, it's cleaned. I got to get to someone on the ground. My assistant's got to deal with it. Now it's just got to be some something to deal with. And once I got a bunch of money, what I really wanted more than anything was freedom. There's a bunch of these real high level crypto guys, you know, like the guys who invented Ethereum and all that, lot, yeah. the, the autistic guys. They don't own anything. And I kind of get that. I'm at the point now where they have a backpack of their possessions and if they want a house, they rent it. They want a Lambo, they rent it. If I need to go somewhere, rent, 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 rent. I don't own anything. I don't have any hassle. Nothing's in my name. No government can take anything from me. You, you know, you get to a point of wealth where you kind of start thinking, do I want to have all this crap now I got to deal with? Really, you want peace of mind. And I have enough troubles in my head. I don't need to be worried about my mansion in Santa Monica, which has been broken into. And it's, it's, I don't even go there. Do you know what I mean? It's just long. So that's that. And then also what I was saying earlier about property being a tool to the matrix. If you buy a 10 or $20 million property under a, a government, you can't piss that government off. You can't disagree with that government. You can't. If the, if the tax authority of that government says you owe the money, you better fucking pay it. We're going to lose a house, right? Yeah. If they say you better take an injection in your arm for the good of society, you better take your vaccine. You better put your mask on. You can't afford, you can't even get a parking ticket, my G. Listen, if I'm in England right now, I don't own any assets in England, right? And I pull up in the DBS. Have you ever seen James Bond look for parking? Me <laughs> no. neither. No, <laughs> fuck no. He parks up and gets out. That's what I do. Park up, boom, get out. I don't look for parking. They put a ticket on the DBS. Let's say I decide not to pay that, right? What are they going to do? I don't have any assets in the UK. They're going to make a bunch of letters, send it to a bailiff. Bailiff's going to drive around the UK. I don't even live here. Boom. It's over, right? If I had a 20 million pound house, eventually it's going to go, the, the 60 pound becomes 120, 120 becomes 240. Yeah, bailiff comes two grand, three grand, boom, boom, boom. Gets to the point where they're going to take my 20 million pound house off me. Maybe it takes three years, but they will over a parking ticket. So by buying that property, you're now giving all of the, gov you're giving the government a way to hurt you. You're giving them a leverage over you. And I'm at the point of wealth now. I have enough hidden money where I don't want any government to have any leverage over me. I want a government to say, Andrew, we don't like you. And he say, get fucked. I don't, safe. All right, I won't come then. Bye. Like, and that's the problem with property. Property is a, is a tricky one. I know you can make money with it, but you have to understand that you're, they'll use it against you, man. It's a leverage. So 